Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hope you are doing well. So this video is another uh, challenge. I do it for those who are uh, struggling with the rational unified process. So in this presentation, I uh, try to gather the key concepts and the main principle of uh, this process in order to facilitate the understanding uh, of uh, its uh, working. And help that, uh, hope that uh, this video will be helpful uh, for you. So let's get started. So the rational unified process is a direct successor of uh, the rational objectory process. And this later is uh, uh, the result of integration of the rational approach and the objectory process. So mainly the rational unified process, it incorporates uh, configuration and change management, business engineering, data engineering and UI design. It also inherits a uh, process model and use case from the, object, uh, the objectory process, iterative uh, development and the architecture from the rational background, requirement management from the requisite uh, incorporation and the detailed test process from SQA uh, incorporation. So requisite and SQA incorporation, uh, both of them is acquired by the rational uh, software company. So the rational unified process is very known by the six best practices. So the first practice is about the development software uh, iteratively. So uh, we generate in the rational unified process the, the, the final release or the final product is generated after the execution of many iterations and the use of an iterative approach uh, reduces the project risks and uh, facilitates the adaptation to any change. The second the best practice is the manage of requirements. So uh, during uh, this practice or this practice allows to capture, to elicit, organize and document required functionality and constraints and this using the famous use case uh, model. The third best practice is the use of component based architecture. So uh, the architecture in the wrap uh, process is, uh, is uh, conceived or is designed using a component, a, is conceived using components. A component is uh, an independent element which performs a clear task. So the use of component-based architecture allows the reusability of the architecture and uh, it makes this uh, architecture flexible and admit any change. The fourth, uh, the fourth best practice is the, the use of visually molded software. So uh, in this, with this practice, we can capture the structure and the behavior of architecture and components. And for this, the RAP process uses uses uh, the UML uh, language, uh, which is used in all the workflows of the uh, process. The five uh, best practice is the verification of software quality and uh, quality assessment is built in all activities of the process involving all participants and we use for that an objective uh, measurement and the criteria. And finally, uh, uh, the best practice of the RAP uh, process is the control, uh, the control change uh, to uh, software. So uh, the process it describes how to control track and monitor change to enable successful iterative process. So this schema represents an overview of the RAP uh, of the RAP process, so we find two, uh, two axes, okay? The first axis or the horizontal axis is the time axis uh, or the dynamic aspect uh, which, represent, uh, which represents the dynamic aspects 
of the process and the, is expressed in terms of phases, cycles, iteration, and milestones. The second axis of uh, this uh, overview schema is, uh, the, is the axis which represents the static aspect of the proce of process and is expressed in terms of disciplines, activities, artifacts, and roles. So this schema is taken by is taken from the Wikipedia, the official uh, Wikipedia page of Rational Unified Process. Uh, so for the horizontal uh, axis and uh, especially for cycle and phases, so a project in, uh, which uses a rational unified process may be performed using one cycle or many cycles. So if it uses or it uses one cycle, so mainly it will use the development cycle. This cycle it will produce the first generation of the product. If we use more than cycle, so those cycles will be called evolution cycles and those cycles are triggered when the user suggests any enhancement. The result of a cycle, so it's a viable version or a release. Now for phases, so cycle is composed uh, of four phases. Uh, the inception phase, the elaboration phase, the construction phase, and the transition phase. So, for the inception phase, so this phase, it do most of the requirements. And for the elaboration phase, we detail design and models uh, of uh, the designed system. And during the construction, we implement the final product and during the transition, we integrate, test, and deploy the final or the viable version. For milestones and iterations, so milestones are the, 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 the result of execution or uh, of uh, execution of each phase. So for the inception phase, the result of this phase is uh, the highlight of uh, the life cycle objective. The milestone of elaboration phase is uh, the representation of the architecture of our system. During or at the end of the construction phase, we have to uh, generate an initial operational capability. And at the end of transition, we have to uh, produce or generate a product release. So now for iterations. So a phase may include one iteration or many iterations. So iteration have to be planned. It, it's a successive or uh, a sequence of activities, and at the end it may, it have to be uh, evaluated. At the end, an iteration generates an increment which may be intern or external. The difference is uh, an intern increment is generated or delivered for the final user and the the intern increment is generated for the team member. Now for the vertical axis. So the vertical axis, it uh, includes uh, nine core workflows, which are split into core process workflows and core support workflows. Uh, so a, for a workflow is a sequence of activities that produces a result of observable value and which shows the interaction between workers. Uh, for the core process uh, workflows, I, I will not go into detail with those activities or workflows because they are the common activities or workflows used in the the most software engineering methods, okay? So if you want to, to um, design any workflow, you can use uh, the activities or the sequence uh, diagram of the UML language. So now for the, the core support workflow, it includes the configuration and change management uh, workflow. So during this workflow uh, or this workflow, it 
the, the, the RAP uh, process, it may provide guidelines for managing multiple variants of evolving software system, and it may control uh, produced artifacts and manage parallel development for uh, project management. So uh, in this workflow, the RAP uh, process uh, provides the practical guidelines for planning, staffing, executing, and monitoring projects. And it may also uh, provide a framework which manage uh, risks. And finally, for the environment workflow, so uh, the RAP uh, process provides a development environment, which includes process and tools. And uh, during this uh, uh, workflow, we focus uh, on activities which describe uh, how to implement a process in an organization. We uh, continue with the vertical axis and for roles, uh, so I take an example to explain roles, activities and artifacts. So I, I choose the work, the implementation workflow of, uh, of uh, 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 a random uh, process. So during the random process and during the implementation workflow, we may have as workers uh, the developer, the software architect, or the integrator for activities. So the developer during the implementation workflow it may implement components, fix a, a defect, implement tests, components, and subsystems, and perform unit tests. And uh, for artifacts, so for artifacts that may be produced by a developer at the implementation workflow, so we find a component, okay, and a, a, an, implemented, an implemented subsystem, okay. So uh, an artifact, it may be a document, uh, a model, an element of model, etc. So now, and finally, we will. Uh, I will talk about the, the, the rational unified process, the product. So this product is, uh, uh, is represented as a web-enabled searchable knowledge base, uh, pro which provides all team members with three uh, principal elements. Guidelines, the first element. The guidelines are a guidance. It uh, represents a guidance for all member team and for all portion of the software lifecycle. Templates are also guidance for a visual modeling. It may be a guidance for assisting documentation for all process workflow, etc. And for tools, so the RAP process provides uh, a development kit for all activities of the workflows of uh, the process. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And please don't hesitate to like the content, don't hesitate to share the video, comment if you have any question or any suggestion, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye.